Just wait until you see the new house girls. You're just gonna love it. The two of you will finally have separate rooms all to yourselves. Oh, mother, I don't care about any of that. Why did we have to move at all? Oh, come on now, sweetie, don't be like that. It'll be nice out in the country, you'll see. Well, I just know Goldie will love it out in the country. Won't you, Goldie? <coughs> of course she will. She's a dog. You'd have to be a dog to like it out here in the sticks. I mean, is there even a shopping mall? Oh, Lindsay, hush now, will you? Your father and I are under enough stress as it is. Now I know moving is hard, girls, especially at such a young age, but it'll be good for you, trust me. Living back home just got far too expensive. And I did get quite the deal on this place. I'm sure you'll find lots of new friends, especially in your new schools. There it is, just up ahead. Are you ready, Lindsay? I'm sure I'm ready for something. Mike, Carolyn, it's so nice to see you again. Welcome to your new home. These must be your daughters. I see where they get their good looks from. Well, thank you for introducing us to such a place. It is marvelous, isn't it? Girls, this is Barbara, our realtor. It's a pleasure to meet you, girls. Well, are you excited to move in or what? Excited isn't exactly my word of choice. Lindsay. My apologies, Barbara. You must forgive her. She's not exactly pleased about the move. Oh, no need to apologize. I understand perfectly. I was once a teen too, you know. Well, come along then. We must not dilly-dally. We have a new house to look into. Come on, Goldie, I'll race you inside. Lindsay, be nice, would you? Would it kill you to do so? Maybe. Here's the dining area. My husband and I helped clean it up. It's beautiful. Feel free to set things up to your liking. I have to go get some paperwork to sign and I'll be right back. Oh, honey, it's marvelous. I just know we're gonna love it here. Lindsay, why don't you start unpacking your room? And if your sister needs help, you can help her too, all right? Yes, sir. Oh, Mike, what are we gonna do about that girl? Nothing a stern talking to and some discipline can't fix. Oh, but don't you think that'll make things worse? Don't worry, honey. She's just a teenager. She'll grow into the new house eventually. You'll see. We'll all learn to love it here. Well, I don't know about you as the girls, but I already love it here. Whoa, giving you a fright, have I? Who are you? Well, I'm Billy, Barbara's nephew. Oh, well, I'm Lindsay. Well, my apologies, Lindsay. I didn't mean to frighten you. I was just helping my aunt. So, you and your folks really moving into this old place, huh? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, some would say so. Well, why would they say that? You mean they haven't told you? Told me what? The story about the old ghost bride that lives in the attic. Oh, please, give me a break. It's true. My friend told me so. And do you believe everything your friends tell you? If you don't mind, I have lots to unpack here. I'll say. It all happened 20 years ago. Almost to the day. Marjorie Blywood was soon to be wed to her true love. They fell in love in this here house. And that was where they planned to get married. On the day of their wedding, he got cold feet and ran away. Never to be seen again. Marjorie is heartbroken and humiliated. Out of heartbreak, she went up to the attic and hung herself. Rumors say that to this day, and her ghost haunts this place, waiting for her true love to come back and marry her. It is then her soul will be free. <laughs> what a crock. It's true. Haven't you wondered why people haven't lived in this house since? Maybe it's the neighbors that are scaring them away. Funny. All I'm saying is be careful, Lindsay. Or what? The ghost bride will come and get me and my family? I'm scared. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. I'd hate for a pretty girl like you to get hurt. All right then, everything seems to be in order. Barbara, I just put a kettle on. Would you like to stay for tea? Oh, no, sorry, I, I really must be going. So soon? But you just got here. I'm sorry, maybe another time. I gotta go. What do you suppose? What's her rush? You know realtors, honey. They're always busy. You ready for bed, sweetheart? Yes, Mom. Good, because so am I. Good night, sweetheart. Mommy. Yes? Can you check the closet? Well, whatever for, dear. I was playing up here earlier with Mr. Bear, and I saw a lady in there. A lady? Are you sure it wasn't Lindsay playing a little joke on you? I saw someone, Mom. 
I know I did. Oh, all right then. But there's no such thing as monsters if that's what you're concerned about. <gasps> My goodness. Is it the monster? Honey, the only monster in here is this mess. I told you to clean your room earlier today. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Katie, I'm only teasing. I told you there's no such thing as monsters. Now get some sleep, will you? Good night. And I don't want to hear any more of this monster nonsense, got it? Okay. <gasps> Mommy? Mommy! Katie? What? What is it? Well? Um, can I sleep with you and Daddy tonight? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Catherine, don't scare me like that. I suppose. But don't make a habit of it, all right? Try not to hug all the covers this time, either. Between that and Dad snoring, I don't think I'll ever get any sleep. More tea, hon? Yes, dear? Mother, I had the most peculiar dream last night. Like what, sweetie? I don't know, some scary woman in a wedding dress. Could also be that story that Billy told me yesterday. Billy? Oh, it's our next-door neighbor. You had a boy in the house without my knowing? Now, Mike. Whatever you dreamt last night, Lindsay, I'm sure it was just that. There's no such thing as ghosts. Sure there is. I saw one in my room last night. There you go. Now look what you've done. Of course. Everything is just my fault. Catherine, where's Goldie? I don't know. I haven't seen him all morning. I'll go check outside. Don't stray too far, young lady. Goldie! Goldie, where are you? It's breakfast. Goldie. <laughs> oh my god, how could this have happened? She was an old dog, hon. I'm sure it was just natural age. That's not possible. Goldie was so healthy just yesterday. Take your sister inside. Your mother and I have to talk. Don't worry, Katie. We can get a new dog or something. How could this have happened, Mike? Goldie was just fine yesterday. I spotted some markings on the other side of her belly. I think an animal got to her. An animal? What kind of animal could have done that? I mean, there's nothing but squirrels and rabbits around here. Who knows, a loose coyote or something? It has to be something, Carol. Well, whatever it is, we can't let it get near the girls. When they're outside, we must be supervising them, especially Katie. Honey, it's not that serious. It's just a one-time animal attack. What are the odds it'll come back? What a way to start a new move. Don't worry, my love. It can only get better from here, right? So, you believe me after all, huh? I just don't understand. Why would she be after us? Not you she's after. She's after her true love. But since she can't find her true love, I guess she'll settle for any man. Don't you see? It's not you she's after. She wants your father. <sighs> but that's ridiculous. My father's married already. I don't think she's too worried about that. Well, she's not going to get him, you understand? I know you can hear me, you beast. You've taken my dog, and you're not going to take my father, you understand? I don't think she's going to like that very much. I don't care what she likes. This is our house now, and I'm not going to let her torture us. <laughs> the lights. I told you she wouldn't like that. Billy. Don't worry, Lindsay. I won't let them hurt you, I promise. Billy, behind you. It's my wedding day, and I want... My groom. <laughs> what is going on in here? Mother, mother, please, there's someone in the house. I'll say. Do I know you, son? Um, I'm Billy, sorry, I'm Barbara's nephew. Daddy, please, you have to believe me. We need to get out of this house, right now. What are you talking about, Lindsay? The ghost bride. She's real. <sighs> Billy, was it? Why don't you and I go look for this ghost bride, huh? Uh, sure. Lindsay, what has gotten into you? Mother, please, you're not just stories, it's real. I saw her with my own two eyes. That's enough. If your sister hears about this, she'll have nightmares for weeks. We need to go, now. We're in danger. Father is in danger. The ghost bride wants him. That's enough. I don't want to hear any more of this. Mom, please. She's going to kill father and she's going to kill you too. <laughs> I don't know what has gone into you, young lady. I know you're not a fan of this new house, but I will not tolerate this behavior. Do you understand? But mom, we need to stop her before it's too late. Go to your room. 
Mother! Now! <laughs> so what do you think? A baseball bat to take them down? With all due respect, sir, I don't think a baseball bat's gonna take them down. This being you see is not human. Son, I don't appreciate these games. It's not a game, I swear. You and your family are in grave danger, and I'm afraid if we don't get out sooner than later, it's gonna be too late. This has been a waste of time. Sorry, but I don't believe in fairy tales. I must ask you to leave my home. Sir, please, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what's best for my family. You don't. Now go. What a waste of time. Ah! My love. How I have longed that we would be reunited. Who are you? Yours until death do us part. Ah! No! You may kiss the bride. Ah! What is going on up there? He must have found a mouse or something. Honey? What's all that noise up here? Mike? 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 Who is that? I found my groom. <laughs> <laughs>